Okay, so we're gonna make handles that are gonna go on our mugs. Um, we wanna make sure that we get rid of all of these extra um, rough areas and smooth everything out. So the last thing that you have to do is put the handle on, okay? Um, since this sat out, it's dried a little bit and so it's a little more firm. This is more like leather hard clay. And so I could even just use my thumb and blend and push even more and get rid of all of those um, imperfections real easy, okay? Um, but you wanna make sure that you're doing that first because it's gonna be a lot harder to mess with this when it has the handle on, okay? So um, to make a handle, what you want to do is start with like a smaller piece of clay. I like to squish this so I am already like in something that's round, okay? And that's just like squishing and rotating it. Um, I can put it in my hands and roll this so I have more of a coil. And then you wanna make sure that you are um, rolling all the way up and all the way back. Like it should be hitting your fingertips, but it should also be hitting the heel of your hand, okay? So we're gonna just roll up and down and then back and forth. Okay, and so I've got a coil that's pretty big. I don't know, maybe the size of my thumb. Um, but I don't want this to be, it's gonna be a pretty big handle this way. I'm gonna go ahead and thin out the bottom part of this by tipping my hand sideways and pushing more um, at the base. So I can get something that's more shaped like a carrot. And we kind of talked about that. Um, tap this with the heel of your hand because this is smooth. It's soft. Um, so it's not going to like put dents in it like your fingers would. Um, so do that. And then I'm going to flip and do the same thing. I'm looking for a handle that's going to be um comfortable because if the handle is not comfortable, then you probably will not use it. Okay, so same thing, just smooth this off. And we'll just go ahead and cut like the top and the bottom of it, which I could probably even cut with this. Okay, um, and this could be a handle that I use. You have to be careful when you're bending this um, to make this um, where you're not going to like just snap it. And the more you bend something back and forth, back and forth, you will break it, okay? No matter if it's clay or if it's a piece of metal, okay? So um, think about where you wanna put the handle. Do you want to put it on the side where you would see the seam? At least for me being right-handed, I would be picking it up and I would be seeing this first, okay? Maybe you want this to be here so the seam is underneath your handle, okay? If you don't like your seam, um, you could even put your handle like on the corner, okay? Like on the bottom of this, um, where it's lined up here and goes this way. So then when it sits, um, the corner is like facing you, okay? So that's totally up to you on where you want to put this. Um, you will need to score and slip wherever you are attaching this. Okay, so to get two pieces of clay to stick, you would have to score and slip here. You would have to score and slip here and press these together. Okay, um, I'm not going to show you that part. I'm going to know that you guys know how to do that because I still have things I need to clean up. Um, but you will need a little reinforcing coil. So something that's more this size. Okay, so I started with a little piece of clay. I didn't start with a gigantic piece, okay? And then this would need to go um, around the top part, okay? So this would get scored and slipped and you can see where that is. And then half of it would get blended down and half of it would get blended up, okay? So you would make this disappear, okay? Um, same thing here, this would have to get scored and slipped, okay? So here, and here where you are putting like the pieces together um, and doing that. So scoring and slipping 
anywhere that you are combining or joining two pieces of clay. Okay, so um, I gave myself at least a challenge last hour um, of can I think of like 10 different kinds of handles that I could use. Okay, and they, they're all a little bit different, um, but they all start with that big coil where you press the coil down, smooth it out, and then you cut the ends of it. So you can kind of see, um, let's see if I can hold it, where you would have something that looks like this. Okay, this one has the top part curve in. Okay, and maybe that's something that you like. Okay, with that section there, maybe you want both of them to hit. Okay, and so they're both up against it. You would reinforce both of those. Okay, um, maybe they're both curved in. Okay, and sometimes some of these match other pots like better, like whatever design you have here. This is kind of nice because the curve matches the curve in this. So if you can use something again, sometimes that's a good thing. Um, there are some mugs that have like an extra piece up here. This is called a thumb lug. It's where your thumb like rests when you're holding the mug. Okay, so that could be something that you do. Um, let's see, having them kind of spread out. Okay, so where it goes down on each side. Having this wrap all the way around, having it like match back up. Okay, you would need to score and slip again where this touches and then where this is connected, right? So scoring and slipping is something that you've got to do. Um, something that's angled, okay? Maybe you like it where it's got um, a point. I wouldn't make a sharp point on it, but this would be fine. Okay, and then what if you had one that curled down at the bottom instead of having that sit like flat against the pot, um, you would have like a little curly cue at the bottom. Um, and then what if you, instead of going this way with this one, you put it this direction, okay, where you had it going upwards. Okay, so you can do all kinds of things. This is like 10 different ideas. Um, what you do want to make sure that you do is that you make this big enough. I'll have some people who they'll make a really nice handle and it looks like this. Okay, and so I say this isn't going to be able, you're not going to be able to put your fingers in this mug and pick it up later. You're like, well, yes, I can. See, I can put my fingers in there. Okay, but this pot is going to shrink 12 to 15 percent. Okay, so this is going to get thinner and you won't be able to wedge your fingers in there. Okay, so you need to make sure that when you are doing this that you have enough two different directions. If you can, this is a, a rough guideline. If you can fit three fingers right now, then you'll be able to fit two after it's been fired. Okay, um, so the same thing goes for the width or the depth of this handle too. Do you see this? Like you have to have at least two fingers thicknesses this direction too, because if not, when it shrinks, you won't be able to put your fingers in there. Okay, so these can't be so tiny that, okay, that they will, <laughs> you won't be able to use them. Okay, um, things to avoid, making a handle too small. Um, and this would be just the, like the coil itself making it too small. So that would be doing something like a coil like this, okay? This is too little to support this big mug, okay? Way too small, okay? So you can't do something like this. Um, the other thing I think that, at least for me, and it could be different for everybody, I don't like when my handles are above like where I'm drinking from, from this lip. Um, if I flip it over, then it's like the handle hits first and it rocks when it's upside down. Okay, so I like things to be at least level with the top of this um, and where I can flip it, okay? Um, this is another thing that will make it where you won't want to use this mug 
is by holding it. If this handle hurts, right, then it is going to be um, something that you won't want to use because it's if it hurts holding it empty, once you put more weight in it from the liquid, it's going to be even heavier and it'll probably hurt more. Okay, so make sure what you're doing, you score and slip when they attach, okay, and that you reinforce when you are putting these on. Okay, and this would have to be scored and slipped just like this would have to be scored and slipped. Anything that is touching another piece of clay has to be scored and slipped for it to stick. Okay.